thank you for joining us today. This will be part four of our teaching on uh, what it means to be born again or born from above. And uh, we're going to be reading from the book of Galatians today, chapter 3. And uh, we'll start reading at verse 1. O foolish Galatians, who has bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? Before whose eyes Yahushua HaMashiach has been evidently set before you, crucified among you. This only would I learn of you. Receive the spirit or the Ruach by the works of the Torah or by the hearing of faith. Now, let me just break this down a little bit more. What he's saying here, did you receive, what he's actually saying right here is that did you receive the Ruach or the spirit by the works of the Torah or by the hearing of faith? See, this is, this is the point I'm, I'm, I'm sharing with you to, uh, about what it means to be born again or born from above. See, being born again or born from above is not just keeping the Torah. I mean, keeping the Torah or the, or the, uh, uh, is important as far as what you understand, keeping the Torah, keeping the commandments of Yahuwah. But the point is that, that he said here, you did not receive the Ruach by just keeping the, the works of the Torah. It was by faith that you that you receive the Ruach. It's by faith and trust in Yahushua HaMashiach as, as your salvation. And as you reach, reach to him and put your faith and trust in him, then he imparts his Ruach into you and I, and then you become born from above, a born again. And that's the point he's making right here. He's saying in verse uh, 3, well, let me just state it here. He says, or by the hearing of faith. Now, the hearing of faith means this. You heard the good news of your salvation. You heard the, the word preached that Yahushua was the Messiah, is the Messiah that Yahuwah sent to be the Savior of the world. And he paid the price for our redemption. Of course, Yahushua is actually Yahuwah manifest in the flesh because all through the Tanakh, Yahuwah declared that he was our Savior, our only Savior. Now, he, he's talking about Yasharel in, 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 the, in the Tanakh, that he's their savior. But he also said in Isaiah or Yashayahu, chapter 45, <clears throat> he even stated, he said, I believe it's around verse 22 or 24. Anyway, it's in the 45th chapter of Isaiah or Yashayahu, that's the, his actual real name, that he said, look unto me, and Yahuwah is the one doing the speaking there. He says, look unto me and be saved all the ends of the earth. And we know that, that salvation is for all human beings, but all human beings must, cut, must put their faith in Yahushua, Hamashiach, in order to be born from above, or born again. Now, he says here in verse uh, 6 of this same chapter, well, let me back up to verse 5. He says, He therefore that ministers to you the Ruach, or the Spirit, and works miracles among you, does he do it by the works of the Torah or by the hearing of faith? Even as Abraham believed Yahuwah, and it was accounted to him for righteousness. See, Abraham's belief or account, believing what Yahuwah said, and Yahuwah counted Abraham as righteous even though he had done nothing in order to earn that righteousness. It was simply his faith in Yahuwah that caused Yahuwah to treat him as righteous. Abraham was blessed upon uh, uh, more than any other person. He is, he is the father of our faith. And it was because he just believed Yahuwah and Yahuwah counted that to him for righteousness. And we, he's the type and shadow of things to come that we put our faith in the Mashiach and that we also experience this righteousness we are righteous because Yahuwah has imparted us that righteousness to us because we believe, we put our faith in him. That's what it says here. Abraham believed Yahuwah and it was accounted to him for righteousness. Verse 7 says, Know ye therefore that they which are of faith, the same are the children of Abraham. In other words, it's not just the physical descendants of Abraham. It's the actual the spiritual, it, it, it could include the, the physical, but it also includes the, the, uh, the spiritual. Uh, that which is born on the inside is the real Yehuda. 
it, that's the real Jew, the person that has put his faith and trust in Mashiach, whether you're a natural Jew or not, will not get you into the kingdom of Yahuwah. You've got to be born from above in order to do that. And uh, notice verse 8 here says, And the scripture, foreseeing that, Yahu that Yahuwah would justify the heathen through faith. <laughs> Yahu, the scripture for seeing that Yahuwah would justify or declare righteous the heathen, the heathen, those of that were outside the kingdom of Yasharel, th through faith, preached the good, the Besorah unto Abraham, saying, In you, Abraham, shall all nations be blessed. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. That's what verse 9 says. So then they which be of faith are blessed with faithful Abraham. Verse 10 says, For as many as are the works of the Torah are under the curse. For it is written, Cursed is every one that continues not in all things which are written in the book of the Torah to do them. But that no man is justified in the, by the Torah in the sight of Yahuwah. It is evident, for the just shall live by faith. And the Torah is not a faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. See, what he's saying here is that the, it's not just keeping the Torah is going to cause you to be justified before Yahuwah. No, it's by faith in Yahuwah's word that's going to cause you and I to be justified in his sight. There's so much more I want to get into in this whole chapter here, of the third chapter of Galatians. In fact, if you want to spend time just meditating and reading through that before we, we get back in our next session, I would encourage you to do that. And uh, some of this may sound all new to you, but believe me, this is the Basara. This is the good news that, that, you, that, you, that we believe Yahuwah, and that is accounted to us just like it was to Abraham for righteousness. And... Uh, so anyway, I'll, I'll pick this up on our next teaching and look forward to the, our time together and just want to thank you again for joining us.